guys <laughs> i'm back yeah how are you guys doing you're welcome to my channel and my name is nazo easy i said that in backwards so i was supposed to say my name is nazo easy and you're welcome to my channel anyway see ya. let me just go right into this video okay guys in this video i'm going to be doing something that i've not done before i want to react to comments on my video on naira land naira land why naira land you ask i'll tell you why so i got this idea advice that if you have a youtube channel and you have a naira land account you can also be pushing your videos like promoting your videos on naira land because you know that naira land is, is like a different world on its own just like facebook is a different world twitter instagram so naira land is like a large community of nigerians and maybe some africans from other country anyway i decided that let me go and push my video there like they said i went and pushed the first video and by pushing i mean like you post your video you create a thread there and then you post your video there you can write something about the video to encourage people to click on that video and to redirect them to youtube to watch the video so i posted the first video I went back to check on it nothing was happening i would get views on that naira land but they won't actually click on the video to go and watch it on youtube and i was like why is the need but i didn't want to give up i posted another video the same thing happened i got about 60 something views the first one was about 70 something views the second one was about 60 something views till today and they will still not go and watch it on youtube and then i still didn't give up I went and posted the video of this um, why do Nigerian parents rush why do most Nigerian parents rush their children through school I went there and I posted it and as usual I thought nothing was going to happen it was the next day that I decided to go and check on it let me go and check that it could maybe that magic has happened guys I got there what did I see 20 something thousand views the comments had already reached like six pages. People were there commenting on the video. And you know, the way Naira Land is, I still don't understand that Naira Land very well like that too. But people tend to reply comments as in somebody will post and then you can quote that person's comment and reply that comment. If you're a Naira Lander, you understand. So, people were commenting there. And each comment will get as much as, as much as, 200 400 likes imagine that when i went there, i was like what's happening here what is going on here who are all these people why are you here as in they will not go and click and watch the video on youtube but i felt like carrying all of them like this eh, and fling them to youtube to my channel you get because i felt like it was just wasting they were just there they were not watching my video they were just commenting based on the topic Based on that topic that why do Nigerian parents rush their kids through school, they were just there commenting and replying each other. Some were even fighting there and quarreling there. Typical now. So, Aisha did not reply any of them. I was just there reading their comments and I decided that, okay, you know what? Because some of their comments made sense. Some of them were funny. Some of them were interesting. And I decided that I would just come and react to those comments. Since they don't want to come to YouTube, let me just bring some of their comments and then I'll be posting them on the screen i don't know somewhere sha i'll be posting them on the screen and then i'll be reacting to them so <laughs> i'm going to be reading them out on my phone while you can be reading them on the screen you get so this comment by anthony uncle says remember the question was why do most nigerian parents rush their kids through school Anthony uncle now replied and said so that at the age of 25 they must have been graduates with seven years experience okay look at how many likes that comment got that comment actually got 408 likes that's Anthony's comment got 408 likes where are all these people that are busy liking these comments the, the post itself got 20 something thousand views anyway that is by the way so this thing that Anthony uncle said now that so that at the age of 25 they must have been graduated with seven years experience you know that thing there eh? it's kind of true because you know how it is with job the job market in nigeria they will tell you you have to have seven years experience you have to have 
so, so years experience before they can employ you. So it actually makes sense now to me that maybe that is why, maybe that's the reason why some parents actually rush their children through school. Yeah? Okay. Azord said, I experienced that kind of shit. I, I assume he was trying to say that kind of shit. <laughs> I experienced that kind of shit when I was small and it affected me. It's not just necessary. I will never advise any parent to do such. Yeah, I agree with him. And then Lord Isaac said, because our education is nothing but rote memorization bereft of core knowledge evident in our epileptic services and poor system. Biko, do you understand what he said? Because me, I don't understand. If you understand what this person said, please help me to coerciate it in the comment section because right now my brain is blank. The Oyibo is too much. Um, Isaiah for life said, when you want to apply for a graduate trainee position as a fresh graduate and they post age limits 22 to 23, then you will thank parents for rushing their kids. And this comment got 254 likes. Anyway, yeah, it's the same thing the other guy said, Abi Lady, that they will ask you for experience. Okay, no, this one is saying age limits because some job, some companies will give age limits of the age that they can accept. I don't even understand why that age limit something safe. Does it even make sense? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Because if that is, if since they do that, maybe it's, it's, it's kind of, maybe that's why, that, in fact, I, mean, I don't even know what to say again. Because this age limit thing, I've always, I've never liked that thing. True, true. It contributes to that rush because everybody wants their child to meet up and then finish fast so that they will meet, they won't pass that age limit they usually give before they employ somebody. But it's not good now. It's not good. Okay. Okay. Ed Nuts one said to save cost, school fees no be more and more. Yeah. Yeah, because some parents actually do it to save costs. Some, even though some do it, people have different reasons why they do it. Some do it because they want their children to finish fast and then get that seven years or six years experience, depending on what the job market is asking for. Some do it because they want their children to come out fast so that their age will not pass the limits that most offices and banks usually give. Then there are some parents that do it to save costs, so that instead of paying for six years, they end up paying for four years. And then their parents are doing it for bragging rights. We are coming to those people. Okay, so Femi said, number one, school fees is high. Number two, employable age range has been reduced to 23 to 26. I lost access bank job due to age 27 years. Or so Femi is 27 years old and he lost access bank job because his age had passed the age limit. Why? Like, it's so not fair. It's so not fair. That thing is not fair. This is comment, Sha. He got 178 likes. Me, I cannot stop fixating on this likes thing because it's paining me that these people are there. Liking comments. Tell them to come to YouTube and like my video. Oh my God. Ah, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. Moving on. So Azord, his name is Azord, Abi. Okay, yeah, I already read Azord's comments. So somebody is replying to Azord. Mm -hmm. This person said, this person, his name is King Farab Farabale. King Farabale. King Farabale said, I swear it affected me also. Got double promotion twice because of too much book then in primary school. My dad did not agree, but elder ones said he should just allow me because... Our head of school said I can cope with secondary school, whereas Nalai. <laughs> I started GSS 1 at 9 years. I turned Mumu. <laughs> I turned Mumu before GSS 3 because it seems too much for me. But I thank God now, Sha. Chai, he said he turned Mumu. He finally turned Mumu. Unana here. Don't let your Shai turn Mumu. Okay, moving on. G. Jidamzel said, that is the mentality of typical Lagosians. 
The parents compete among themselves on whose son or daughter graduates first from school. Some parents pay no attention to the intellectual ability or capabilities of their children in school. As a tutor in a primary school in Lagos, I've had numerous encounters with parents who always insisted that their children should be placed in a class contrary to the children's performance. Open affair. This one is a teacher. This one is a teacher in a primary school. And parents keep insisting that they should place their children in a class that is contrary to the child's performance. Which means that the child might not even be doing well. But the parents will insist that they should place the child in a higher class. Why? So that they will not pay extra school fees. So that they can have bragging rights to say, my child is so 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 year age and it is in so 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 class. As for my child is this young and is in this high class. Will make it sense. It does not make any sense. Does it make any sense to you? Okay. Uyi said, when one of the prerequisites of getting your dream job is seven years experience, then you would appreciate the need to try and rush school on time. However, at the end of the day, the rush may not pay off. Do you see that last line? However, at the end of the day, the rush may not pay off, which is true because, however, at the end of the day, the person might not get the job. However, at the end of the day, the person might talk mumu, as in, or rishi rishi. So, okay, member club said, I did some teaching at a private boarding school when I was still hustling. You need to see some of the SS3 students in a class. They look like primary school students. Way too young. Oh, and that's what me I don't like. I don't like this one. The children will now be so small in SS3. That's why I don't like that rush thing. Is your child ready physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically? Is your child ready? Okay. Okay. Caleb, Abi Caleb said, they do it for the competition. My son is 19 and he is in 400 level. My daughter is 21 and she has an MSc. This sort of things freak women more. <laughs> oh my God. Is it true? Because is it true? Does it freak women more? Who does it freak more? Is it the women or the men? I want to know so that I'm not the people that are behind that rushing of children through school. Is it the women that is just a freak? I think so. I think it freaks women more because most of the times the men don't care. It's the women that want to gather in their, um, what they call it, cackles, inner cackles or, or meeting and be bragging that, ah, oh my God, do you know that my child, Funke, she just finished her MSc and she's just 19 years? Those type of things will make it sense. Oh, oh the ma. Anyway, I'm above. Amebo Peru said, I know a girl who graduated from the secondary school at the age of 12 or thereabouts. She's just average academically, but the parents kept rushing her to save costs. Underline average academically and underline the parents kept rushing her to save costs. You get to pay only for four sessions instead of six if Ugonian. Again, because of age barrier in getting a job in Nigeria, ask access back Ask, hey, Chukuna, ask Access Bank applicants. Because, is it true? Is this, is, because this pe second person that is mentioning Access Bank in this trade, though, is it true that Access Bank, they are the ones carrying that age thing on their head? Okay. Finally, it's a pride to a parent to see his or her child doing better than their mates by graduating before them. Okay. This particular comment has explained itself. Moving on. Pozehani said, it is a trend and a competition no one wants to be left out in. I would also rush mine. <laughs> you are on your own, sir. I will also rush mine. I can't come and carry last. Or haven't you heard of the youngest doctor at 24 years? Because who is that doctor? Who is the doctor he's talking about? I will Google it. Okay. Now, this comment said, I really don't know, but I think I can give part of the answer as to why do parents rush their kids through school. So he said, in the, in the 1980s, a lot of intelligent kids came into prominence. Kids who graduated from primary school at eight, 
secondary school at 14, university at 18. These kids were promoted to parents and other children as examples. Shh. Is the water dispenser. As a result, the trend to rush kids began. In my day, it started with kids leaving for secondary school in primary five. Something my parents swore would never happen, thankfully. God bless your parents. And kids entering nursery school at the age of two or one. In other words, the parents wanted little geniuses. By the way, I knew one kid who graduated primary school at the age of eight, secondary school at 14, university at 18, and then went abroad for his postgraduate studies and had a breakdown. You see? The, the person had a breakdown. It's not everybody that this thing works for. In that my original video, I said that there are exceptions in cases where the child is a prodigy or a genius. And in most cases, these children are not even prodigies or geniuses. It's just that their parents just want to rush them for reasons best known to them. Whether it's the school fees they want to save or they are rushing to meet up the age limit or they are rushing because they want their children to have that um, seven years experience or what do they call it? Whatever it is, I still feel it is unnecessary. There are people that still get jobs, even at the age of 30. So, I don't get it. Nah, eh. Okay, so Isaiah for life said, when you want to... Okay, this person, Smarty Pants, is responding to Isaiah for life. So, so Smarty Pants... Okay, now, I have to read what Isaiah for life said again for you to understand what Smarty Pants is saying. So, Isaiah for life said... When you want to apply for a graduate trainee position as a fresh graduate and they post age limit as 22 to 23, then you will thank parents for rushing their kids. So Smarty Pants now replied saying that that may be an incidental co consideration, but it is not likely the reason for this trend, which I agree. The likely reason is simply that Nigerians love to compete and to most, the younger ones... Oh... Why do you punctuate your, your this thing like this now? The likely reason is simply that Nigerians love to compete. And to most, the younger ones kids are in school and out of it, the smarter they appear to be. You understand? That's the younger your kids are in school and finish from school, the smarter your kids appear to be. And the more points the parents has with which to boast in the next family gathering. This one is the most foolish reason of all. And sadly, it is the case. In most, in most cases, this is what the case is. You understand? Do you understand that English I just spoke now? I meant to say that most times this is the case. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Mm, I'm sorry for myself. Okay. Major Banks said nigerian education be like lagos traffic the earlier you hit the road the more likely to avoid traffic jam so also the education the more you jump the more you are like you're likely to avoid asu strike thank you you understand these comments <laughs> it's a funny one but it boils down to what, what most people were saying here is that, that they have to rush so that they will avoid the traffic jam as per the age limit thing and then the ASU strike thing so that they will rush so that the ASU strike will not affect them because you know that banks are, and companies are already making matters worse by posting age limits for their jobs. Then ASU is not even helping matters because the strikes sometimes goes on for months and then it delays the kids and they are si trying to say that they are trying to say that this is why most parents rush their children through school. Whatever the case may be, I just came here to react to comments. Since these people do not want to come to YouTube and come and comment and watch my video and leave comments there, I had to go to Nairland and drag all their comments to this place and react to them. Okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. What do you think of all these people's comments? Hmm? <laughs> So this is like a part two. It's like a sequel to that first video. If you have anything to add, you can do so in the comment section. Okay. So if you have watched this video up to this point and you have not subscribed, I don't know what to say to you. I really don't know what to say to you.
but i want to thank those of you that have watched up to this point god bless you thank you so much stay safe stay blessed and we are gonna see ourselves in the next video